Multiple sclerosis, commonly called MS, is a chronic disease triggered by an immune-mediated response that leads to progressive demyelination in the central nervous system. It is the most common disabling neurological disease among young adults aged 20 to 50, with a higher prevalence in women and individuals of Northern European ancestry. Common signs and symptoms of MS include visual disturbances, muscle weakness, fatigue, numbness, tingling, muscle spasticity, lack of coordination, difficulty speaking, tinnitus, vertigo, bowel and bladder dysfunction, partial or complete paralysis, cognitive changes, and psychosocial or behavioral changes. Pathophysiologically, MS involves the destruction of the myelin sheath, which protects nerve fibers in the brain and spinal cord. This leads to impaired transmission of nerve impulses, resulting in the various symptoms of the disease. The cause of MS is multifactorial, involving immune, infectious, and genetic factors. It is considered primarily an autoimmune disease, where the immune system attacks myelin in the CNS. Infectious factors such as Epstein-Barr virus and genetic predisposition also contribute to the risk. Additionally, environmental factors such as low vitamin D levels and smoking increase the likelihood of developing MS. Diagnosis of MS involves several tests including cerebrospinal fluid analysis, MRI of the brain and spinal cord to identify lesions, and visual evoked potential tests to assess optic nerve function. Medications commonly prescribed for MS include immunomodulators like interferon beta and gladiremer acetate to reduce disease progression and relapses. Anti-inflammatory drugs like corticosteroids are used to treat acute relapses. Muscle relaxants such as baclofen help reduce muscle spasticity, and anticonvulsants or tricyclic antidepressants are prescribed for paresthesias. Other medications include propranolol and clonazepam for cerebellar ataxia and antispasmodics for bladder dysfunction. Non-pharmacological treatments include physical, occupational, and speech therapy to manage symptoms and improve functional abilities. Physical therapy focuses on exercises to manage spasticity and tremor, while occupational therapy aids with visual deficits and performing daily activities with adaptive equipment. Speech therapy helps with communication difficulties. Nursing interventions for MS focus on promoting mobility, preventing complications, managing symptoms, and enhancing overall well-being. Nurses encourage independent activity, energy conservation techniques, and adequate fluid intake. They also provide health teaching on bowel and bladder training, fall precautions, temperature regulation, skin care, and stress management. Nurses also encourage participation in social activities and support groups to prevent isolation and promote effective coping. The overall goals for MS management include minimizing symptom frequency and severity, improving mobility and independence, promoting emotional well-being, preventing complications, and enhancing quality of life. An evaluation of nursing interventions involves regularly assessing the patient's progress towards these goals, adjusting the care plan as needed, and ensuring that outcomes are met. This continuous evaluation helps in providing optimal care and improving the patient's quality of life.